I'm here today with Elliot Gorson from the Aspen Institute um, in the United States. Aspen United States, it's, it's, a, it's an old institution already. Um, you are going to celebrate your 75th anniversary while we are in uh, Germany going to celebrate our 50th anniversary. Tell us a little bit about um, how the Institute came about and what really stands behind the Institute. Uh, Walter Pepke. Uh, was a major American industrialist uh, leading an a international corporation from Chicago. And in 1949, uh, the vision came to him to create what became the Aspen Institute. And it actually began, we sometimes say it began, all began in a tent, and it did. And a tent specially constructed in Aspen, Colorado, which was then a town virtually no one had heard of. It was a really deserted silver mining town that it had its heyday in, in, in the 1870s uh, and 80s. Uh, and it was a town that he found remarkable for its beauty and thought it would be an ideal place to bring people for reflection about fundamental questions, fundamental values. So Espen, Espen is very unique, the Espen Institute. Um, and unlike a regular think tank, um, we are a convening platform, but we also have a vision and we have a mission and we stand for certain values and ethics. So tell us a little bit about um, the big, big concept behind the Espen Institute. But at, at its heart, we're an institution, I think, about dialogue and, and convening people to better understand the critical issues of the day. And the people we convene are not just established leaders, but emerging leaders. And we convene them deliberately and intentionally from diverse backgrounds as inclusively as possible, and very importantly, with diverse perspectives on, on the issues. And the goal of those convenings is frankly to inspire them, to leave them, to engage with and solve those greatest problems uh, that we are facing. So dialogue, convening, leadership, and critically values are at the heart of the Aspen idea. So Aspen is here to stay. <laughs> and Aspen is also moving um, into the future. Um, where do you see the Aspen Institute um, in the next years and decades to come? Well, you know, our board of directors in the United States have asked that question very explicitly. And we've just completed a, a strategic plan for at least the next five years. And what, what comes out of that is, first of all, a reaffirmation of most of the things we're doing. You know, uh, 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 but at the same time, a recognition that the fundamental Aspen value, values of dialogue and, and respect for the dignity of everyone, bringing diverse people together to, to create better societies remains as, as important and uh, compelling uh, as ever. But at, at the same time, uh, the board has decided that there are some issues today that in the next five years we want to p address in particular. Uh, Just one last question to you. Um, if you describe Aspen with three adject adjectives only, <laughs> what would you choose? <laughs> oh my goodness, do they have to be adjectives? Can be the, any kind of word? Or? Any kind of word. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, I would say uh, dialogue. I would say convening, and I would say values. Mm -hmm.